So Donald Trump got some absolutely embarrassing news that an event he's hosting for the gubernatorial candidate, the Republican candidate in Virginia, is being boycotted by that very same man. The man that he's endorsed, the man that he's trying to help, he won't even show up at Donald Trump's rally for him. And other top Republicans in Virginia are saying the same. I want to read this. It says, Glenn Youngkin to avoid Trump's tele-rally for him as Virginia governor's race nears end. And it says, Virginia Republican gubernatorial candidate Glenn Youngkin will not participate in a virtual rally hosted by former President Donald Trump on Monday, the day before the election. I'm not going to be engaged in the teletown hall, he said to reporters on Saturday, according to CNN. And it goes on to note the connection between the two. Because let's be clear, Glenn Youngkin is not anti-Trump. He's been endorsed by Trump. He likes Trump. Trump likes him. His policies are very similar to Trump's and his rhetoric in this campaign has tapped into the same hateful, ugly politics as Donald Trump. The only difference is he knows that Donald Trump is unpopular and wants to avoid him like the plague. And so what we've seen is that Trump hasn't been involved in the race, but he's been tricked into participating by Biden and by the Lincoln Project and by other media basically saying to him, you're a coward. They're trying to hide you away because you're a loser prove you're not a loser and go to Virginia. And so Donald Trump is doing that, at least in a virtual capacity, and no one is coming out for him. And that's absolutely humiliating to Trump because every one of his other rallies, especially when he was president, but even since, has always been chock full of local Republican leaders there to cheer him on. Often people in the House and in the Senate, and certainly a lot of people from the state level politics. When he holds rallies in Alabama, when he holds rallies in, you know, Miss Mississippi, when he holds rallies in Florida, when he holds rallies everywhere, everyone comes out because they want to be seen with him. And it's a real sign how hated Donald Trump is in any state like Virginia that they don't want to associate with him. Not only will Young cannot invite Trump to his own events, he won't even make a token stop by. He won't even stop by for five or 10 minutes at a telephone rally for Donald Trump. So remind people that this is happening for a reason. Again, if you live in Virginia or you have family or friends that live in Virginia, Virginia, let them know this because people in Virginia do not like Donald Trump and he's hiding his Trump connections for a reason because once he wins, he will be just like Donald Trump and he knows the voters are repulsed by that. And one thing that's really going to bother me about this, guys, is that Donald Trump is kind of going to act like he won either way. Donald Trump is going to make it all about all about himself. Surprise, surprise. But if Youngkin wins, Trump is going to say that his rallies and his endorsements made all the difference in a close race. And if Youngkin loses, Trump is going to argue that it's Youngkin's fault because he never fully brought Trump in. That if he was more proactive at tying Trump to himself, he would have won. So Donald Trump is going to make this all about himself. But let's be clear. If there's a loss in Virginia, it is because of Donald Trump and his absolutely sickening politics. Youngkin must be defeated because while he's more polite than Trump, that doesn't make him any less dangerous.